Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabi of 4 Explain America and the former assistant director of the FBI has a chilling assessment of what happened in the latest attempt on Trump's life. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, guys, please visit that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. When you get there, Hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. The former assistant FBI director is saying, I think, what a lot of people are thinking. You have somebody who wanted to allegedly take Trump's life. They came from Hawaii to Florida. When they got to Florida, they somehow got an AK-47 and a scope. They then, either on or near Trump's golf course, camped out for 12 hours. Somehow knowing that he was going to be on the golf course that day when it was not on the public schedule. Unless, of course, it was just a lucky guess. All signs point to either this guy made a really lucky guess or he had help. And if he had help, who was the help? Now, this is not me saying it. I have my own suspicions. This is the former assistant director of the FBI. This is serious business. This is serious man. He's not making up crazy conspiracy theories. I think this is pretty blatant to anyone looking at it that I would think you would say this is not a lone person. I mean, the authorities have said as much that they think there's a possibility others were involved. Of course, nothing's been proven yet, and I hedge it with that. We don't know. Could be a lone gunman. We're going to find out you know, from the investigation. And Ron DeSantis is investigating as well, so I do trust that. And we're going to have to find out. But I'm really concerned about what's going on here. I want you to watch this video and then let me know what you think in the comments. Hear your reaction. Morning. Yeah, I think uh, maybe the increased scrutiny of the Secret Service and the embarrassment from the last assassination attempt may have saved his life because they, they, they were proactive this time. They didn't hesitate and they took the shot. So, you know, that, that, that's the positive thing here. I want to know how that person knew to be there at that golf hole at that time that day. He's either surveilling uh, Donald Trump or he was in, he received some inside information. That's pretty sinister if that's the case, because that implicates a third party, either wittingly or unwittingly. Wow. And, and OK, what what kind of questions do you want to ask to get to those answers? I mean, we're all asking how it's possible that he can get so close to Trump. But even worse was the Butler uh, closeness, right? We're talking about 100 plus yards, right. now 500 yards. So how is it possible that the perimeter of the golf course yesterday was not secure? Yeah, I mean, we have a live suspect now, so we, we may be in a position to get some answers. If he's talking, he may have lawyered up already. But, you know, as you know, I, I think the Secret Service agent that took the shot did a good job. But I'm wondering why they were not walking that fence line in that perimeter. I mean, to, to just stay on the golf course doesn't seem to be in this in this case, uh, they were effective in, in neutralizing the threat. But, uh, you know, when you have that type of hedgerow lining a fence like that so close to public property and highways and streets, you would think they would have someone actually walking that fence line. So, yeah. you know, there's going to be more answers in this case. And I think they're going to come a little bit quicker, although there is a prosecution to protect now. Yeah. Uh, Chris, how impactful is all this?